Hello, my friends. I would like to introduce you to these three little people who are gonna die, probably, because, well, we're in a mining asteroid far away from the rest of our duplicate kind. A little game called Oxygen Not Included, game that I've played a lot of in the past, but haven't touched it in a few years, wanted to give it a go today. The objective of this one is to dig out our ways here, build up some buildings, and then try to create some pretty amazing factories. So we'll get things started the right way by putting down just generic cots. These guys are gonna sleep in these. They're kind of nasty. It smells bad in here. We have no bathrooms, but we will pretty soon, and not this giant pile of water. Hopefully we don't use that as a bathroom anyway. Can you guys build a little faster? Thank you, thank you. Dig a little bit better. Good, excellent. We'll put another one of these in. Then I'm gonna cancel those digs for now. I'm gonna dig out on this side of the world. Ooh, there's some algae right here too. It's organic. Also that can produce oxygen, which is really good for us. Let's go ahead and make some tiles here too. So we don't lose stuff down into that water pile down below. Very nice too, our beds have been created. They'll assign themselves to it. Actually, I could just assign people manually. There you go, Kite to Sue. Also, if you're wondering, these are channel members. So thank you guys for becoming a channel member. If you guys would like your name in a game, you can go ahead and join the channel membership as well. Oh good, we got our first copper ore, which is gonna open up some additional things. Oh nice, look at this, a little hatch. <laughs> he just digs into the ground and then digs up and eats sandstone and stuff and creates uh, coal out of it, if I remember right. Let's dig those up. Wow, they instantly dug that. Also, Splattersax looks like he's holding his breath because there's literally no oxygen available over there. Yeah. It's pretty much just a carbon dioxide unbreathable area. That's not good. We'll have to get that fixed up in a second. I know that oxalite will make oxygen for them, but we don't have much of it right now. I do want to put it in a bathroom, just in case they want to use it or something. I mean, why wouldn't you need a bathroom? And they should be able to reach up here, so let's rip apart some more of this. And the more of the copper ore that we have, the more cool things we can make, like a new station. This one's a research station. We'll put this next to the bathroom. We'll also need a power plant, so we'll get a manual generator in here. I can slap in a battery, even though that's gonna create unnecessary amounts of heat. And I tell you what, we're just gonna leave it like that because we still have that minimal amount of oxygen in here. Oh no, <laughs> Splattersax is literally dying already. Buddy, you can't do this to us. Nice, all right. So we've got Kaitsu is generating electricity. Dalton and Splattersax don't have any research yet, but we can get some fun stuff happening. I mean, basic farming is always good, so we can make terrariums, planter boxes to grow seeds, ration box, and of course the compost to turn blue to dirt into good stuff. So hopefully someone's gonna go ahead and do this. Very nice. And we're gonna need to make a plumbing structure too. I always like making giant water tanks and other fun things. Now we do have some priorities for our friends. You notice Dalton has good skills in construction, so I'm gonna prioritize you in construction. Kaitasu has got some operating skills, which is why they jumped on the treadmill really quick. And then Splattersax is kind of a master of everything, yeah. including science. So let's get the research at a high priority. Of course, they'll do the other tasks if there's nothing else for them to do. And I'm gonna start digging out a little bit more. Now we have to plan our base nicely. So we'll start building up some sandstone floors and digging out a little bit more because this area is going to be immediately upgraded into storage. We can also do a few other things like make food in here, but I'm not quite ready to do that yet. I mean, it's all cluttered and gross and there's all sorts of bad stuff down there, which makes it not clean. Also, there's no radiation except for that little radioactive bug. Yeah, look how nice this decor is. Negative 103.5, mainly because there's debris and an outhouse everywhere. Also, Splattersack's outfit is is kind of nasty, but we don't tell him about that. Oh no, <laughs> the hatch fell down into the water. It's gonna go the way of the dinosaurs. I feel bad for him, but there's not much we can do about it. Not at this stage of the game. Oh, nice, we got our research done. Let's do another research. We can do meal prep, which gives us the farm tiles. Could be kind of cool. But the next thing I want to get is plumbing so we can have the liquid pumps and uh, liquid vents and stuff. So go friends, dig that up. We can also make better toilets because this thing is full of germs. It's got like 36,000 germs and they're carrying them everywhere. I'm so gross, that's nasty. Oh no, Dalton, I'm sorry, your bed is too bright. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. This thing creates light. Dalton's gonna be very sassy in the morning because unrested, uh, more stress and immunity to like diseases. Splattersack's doing the absolute work over here. Good job, buddy, I'm proud of you. Now come over here and help everyone dig. That's a good idea. 
We're gonna clear this out so we can actually have some food around this place. Also, we're gonna take Dalton and assign you to this cot. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is get an LJ terrarium, which kind of takes, it creates oxygen by removing carbon dioxide. We need to put it in areas where carbon dioxide lives, but those also require water, which is our next step that we're gonna mess with after making a few storage units, because that's what we're gonna do up here. Storage and food production. Speaking of which, we probably should make some food production too. I mean, the regular planter boxes is fine. We'll do it. You know what? Why don't you just take everything? Yeah. We're just gonna throw all the slime in here for a while. Oh, not actual slime, that's somewhere else. Where's the slime? Is there a slime zone anywhere? I don't see any. Looks pretty good. This area is kind of interesting. Full of chlorine gas and balm lilies. Yeah, and these things definitely need water too. That's better, Dalton. You can get a good night's sleep tonight. Nope. Oh, never mind. <laughs> There's not enough oxygen for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. You'll be all right though. Still holding your breath while sleeping. That's harsh, man. I guess that's why the game is called Oxygen Not Included. All right, I am gonna do it. I'm gonna make some planter boxes up here. We'll do five to begin with. Um, that's gonna be enough to make these meal woods. I think that's what we need. This is where the game gets really kind of crazy. They do need water, which we don't have access quite to yet, but we will get it in a minute or two. Oh, they're happy that they get to plant things. I'm excited for you fellas. Oh, we also don't have a mealwood for that. All right, they are growing, which is good. This is like the easiest plant in the world. It requires no light, no water, and just grows. Now, you might be wondering why I'm digging way down here. The answer is because there's polluted water and regular water. Also, we can drop these into a big tank. We'll have a big stank and a big tank because this polluted water is nasty. So is the stuff coming from our outhouse. We'll eventually purify. The other good news is there's quite a bit of oxygen coming from the oxalite in here because that's just a rock that makes oxygen. Oh, check this out. A printing pot is available. We can choose a blueprint. Oh, nice. We can get Stinky or Joshua. What do we want? Or a hatchling or fertilizer. A rock fan? Uh, he gets bonuses. That's not the kind. Oh, increased agriculture. That's kind of nice. You guys are both kind of good. What's your bad stuff, though? An ugly crier or a vomiter? Oh, stress vomit. That's exciting. I don't know who to get next, but I kind of feel bad for Stinky because he's never been invited to a party. Aww. But he also has irritable bowels, so that's why he's never been invited. I got to do it. I got to do it. We're also going to rename you to Grim Reaper. 338. Welcome, Grim. I'm gonna print. It's probably a bad idea, but you're invited. I just feel bad because that was him when I was a kid. <laughs> now everyone's like, hey, Stinky, how are you? And we're gonna keep calling him Stinky. It might. He also is sleeping in the bright one. Welcome to the colony, friend. All right, I'm doing something else. We're gonna deconstruct this thing. Uh, deconstruct it. I, I really badly need water. I don't know if you guys have recognized that, but like all of these terrariums need it badly. So if I deconstruct that, we can build it somewhere else. Not a huge deal. <laughs> we could just run a run a wire right through the middle of the latrine. But what I do need to do is get a pitcher pump and we have to delete these two. Delete these two, delete these two. I gotta find the right delete button. Muscle memory is not as it used to be. All right, build the pitcher pump. We're gonna grab water out of that. Come on, Grim. You can do it. Look at that. Grim's already a valuable member of society. Good. Excellent. <laughs> we'll get that wire hooked up to the batteries and stuff. Ah, beautiful. So these are going to start burping out oxygen, eating up the carbon dioxide. Should probably put another one down here. Because if you don't know, carbon dioxide is heavier than oxygen, so it's going to sink to the bottom. And now that we have a fourth member, it might be time to go straight up sanitation route or air systems, convert water and oxygen into hydrogen and oxygen. I don't know if I want to mess with that yet. So let's go the sanitation route. We can get showers and lavatory. We can also make a proper bedroom or relatively proper bedroom. Just a barracks. No industrial machinery, max tile of 12 and uh, or max of 64. I could just do that right through here. Let's do this. Oh, they're already making friends with each other. Did you see that? It said a new friend. Pleasant chit chat. This needs good. It's working. Maybe it needs water. Someone's gonna go get it. Good job, Grim. Bring that back down in here. 
Drop that off. Now that's going to convert that carbon dioxide to beautiful, fresh, delicious, breathable oxygen juice. Now, if my math is proper, which it usually is, 16 wide at the bottom is going to give us 64 if we make it four tall. So I'll put a pneumatic door on the side. We'll drop in tiles above. I'm going to make a flooring across if they can reach it, which they probably can't yet. <laughs> and Kaitsu is going to defile the area and say hi to the hatch for me. Oh, negative three somethings. I don't know what that said. Reds? Rads? Oh no, everyone can't sleep now because of the dumb light bug. <laughs> Shine bug, what are you doing here? He's looking for food. What do you eat? Properties, genetic ooze. I don't even know what this little fella eats. Digestion, bristle berries, grizzle berries, and phosphorite. Hmm, that's kind of neat. All right, so I'm gonna move Grim over to here because of reasons. <laughs> Mainly because he likes to sleep at night. And I'm gonna put in some more LJ terrariums in here. Should be a good benefit for all of us. Excellent. We're gonna dig up here too wide, just so we can complete the rest of the room. And now that those are built, we can deconstruct those. Good. We should also probably check what Grim's skills are the best at. Wrong one, priorities. We'll get on that other one in a little bit. All right, Grim is kind of not good at anything except carrying. So we're gonna make him store things and supply things. Those will be his top priorities, which means he's gonna clean up and bring things around. There you go, picking up dirt, dropping the dirt off, I love it. Also, I want you guys to mop up. Let's do sweep. We're gonna sweep everything in here as a higher priority. Ah, that might be a bad idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. So default tasks are like a five. So when we're changing this to uh, to mopping it all. They're just gonna grab everything before they do anything else, which is cool. Like, it'll work out okay. So let's check, did this actually get, yes, it is a room. We get plus one morale. Good job, friends. We could also get like luxury ba uh, barracks, which gives way more morale. And then there's the private bedrooms, comfy beds, no cots, decor items. And we can do that eventually. Has back wall tiles, like wallpaper on the back of it. And this is all cleaned up too. I know it's not gonna be the most beautiful thing, but it's still better than just being straight up slime. Uh-oh. <laughs> I forgot one other thing. This isn't good. We just polluted our good water supply. They got poop in it. <laughs> Nasty. All right, all right. You guys gotta mop up the crap and literally poop. Please, please just, oh, it's so gross. This entire water supply now has food poisoning. It is dying eventually, but I mean, someone peed in it. This is full. I didn't put a compost pile up. I forgot about that. I don't even know where it is. Refinement, compost. All right, you guys are gross. Just put them over here. I need to probably make another one of the outhouses. We really need to deal with our water issues too. There you go, splatter sacks. You got the good job today. Cleaning out the latrine with a plunger. Oh, I never noticed this before, but it has a full, like how full it is. This one's empty. So this is bad now. Our water or our air pressure is, I'm assuming too low. Yeah, there's barely any breathable gas up there. We've been expanding so much and not creating any more air that we're just like creating this giant void. So we need more oxygen to actually like, we actually need oxygen. So I think we should research the oxygen production and air systems. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That's high priority. That just collapsed on something. Oh, I thought a person was in there. No, it's just someone's old bed. All right, we're good. Bedroom is completed, which is awesome for us. Good news. So that means uh, next project, I believe Grim is gonna keep carrying everything and supplying it. Next project is getting the water supply figured out. I'm hoping this stuff starts dying a little better. That's not too bad of food poisoning. I don't think we're gonna get sick off of it, but we need to make bigger water tanks. So we're just gonna plan this out first. I'm gonna put a water pump in the bottom. We will run plumbing into the wall, like such as. We're also gonna need to get power into it to pump that out. So we'll just get a wire going in right away. Then we will need a ladder going down from the entrance. I'm assuming our entrance is gonna be up in here, but that's a really hard thing to do right now. Uh, because if we dig that out, all that water is gonna flow in. So we'll make the entrance here to begin with. And then I'll run down a ladder like this. We'll build up some mesh tiles so people have places to walk on. And the thing he just turned on again, choose a blueprint. Curative tablets, yes. All right, 
That's actually not bad. I don't want to get any other people because we don't have a reliable food source yet. We only have 15,000 calories remaining. Hopefully they can sleep well tonight. You guys doing okay? Yucky lungs. That's not great. What does that mean? Oh no. Big nasty lungful. It was kind of you were playing around in sewage. Oh, this might be... We're okay. I was thinking the sand was going to fall down. I really didn't want people to do this digging by scuba. Oh, it's going to be so close. All right, I think we're good, though. Yep, just going to dig all that out. We have mesh tiles that water and air can go through. We have our diggy thing down below. We're not going to get down to it yet because, well, we still don't have good amounts of oxygen in our base. We need water for that. Good news, my friends. We have more mealwood seeds. Also, the first ones are planted and ready to go. I guess we could have made mush bars. I totally forgot about that. Mush bars are like the nastiest thing in the entire game. Micro musher. It literally puts dirt into a pile. We might need one, but it requires... Yeah, we'll build one. Why not? It requires power. Put it right between the latrine. Let's not put it next to the latrine. Just in case we need it, we'll put it in here. Also, I should run the power lines in the floor. That just is easier. And our water tank is going pretty swimmingly, if I do say so myself. I'm just hoping these germs go away pretty quickly. It looks like it's mainly going away, so it's fine-ish. Look at Splatter Saxon. Kaitsu, go. <laughs> just standing in one spot, putting all the stuff into place. I want all of the trash out of here before we move forward. And they can't go down below because, well, I built this in a spot that's just bad. Don't ask why I built it there. I don't really know the answer to that. Probably because I haven't played the game in years. <laughs> Mush bar. An edible. Pure, putrefied mud slop. Are preferable to starvation, but only just barely. We need them. I'm going to make, like, I don't know, five. Uh, it's such a bad thing because it uses up an insane amount of water, too. But thankfully, we'll have a good supply of water in a couple minutes. Ooh, check out this down here. Usually, there's fun things in these lockers. There's the mush turd coming out. Mmm, delivered. <laughs> I mean, it's better than no food, sort of. Ooh, the button pressed again. We get to choose another blueprint. Omelets? Yes, or a snazzy suit. I want omelets because that means we don't have to make mush anymore. Omelets are delicious, like in real life, too. Pollution exposure. There's pollution up there. Whoops. <laughs> Nothing is good right now. Everything's just polluted and stinky. Not ex wow, 60,000 germs on you. Oh my goodness. We definitely need to make a bathroom system. And I'm hoping we can do that in a matter of minutes here as soon as this is cleaned up. <laughs> Yucky lungs. I'm sorry. There's literally just purified or polluted water in the middle of nothing. Oh, this is rough. I always feel bad for the first stage dupes that come. Like their chances of survival are really bad. But the good news is that's the last of it. So let's do a little bit of a sweep detail. We're gonna make everybody sweep out of here. Ooh, four more mealwood seeds. Did you see that? That's awesome. Okay, we also have the bottle emptier. We're gonna make a, a plumbing pipe just up to the top so we can hook into that when we need it. Good. I just want all of this stuff out of this thing. Also my voice cracked, that was weird. Why do you guys go so far? You literally have these things right here. We're going to prioritize these storage bins so you don't have to be a dingus and walk halfway across the world. Oh, so they're probably just getting oxygen. They're like, we can't breathe down there in that septic tank. We're getting so close. There's only just a little bit of sand left here and here. I think in a matter of seconds, they'll be able to clean. Oh, they just dropped more sand. Guys, you can't drop it. <laughs> they're like, but we can't breathe in there, Blitz. Let me in. Oh, just one more little grabby. Okay, perfect. No, oh, you dropped it again, you... Colossal dingus. Get this and move it out of here. We need that gone, friend. Good. It's out. It's out. Perfect. All right. Mostly out. Why did you drop it right here? You're so incompetent sometimes. Actually, no. They just literally can't breathe. There you go. Picked it up. All right. We're good. We're good on that. That's amazing. All right. Default back to five, so they're not going to be bringing things back and forth. And now is the fun part. We get to crack this open and flood it. I'm hoping we can crack it from here. And if we do, then all of this polluted water might stay behind. Ooh, also we're harvesting mealwood. Fantastic. That's straight up food snacks. We can make lice bar. Yep, that takes the meal lice. We're gonna do that forever. Just make up a bunch of those. That's way better food than the, the nasty mush. And they're also complaining about having long commutes. You don't know anything yet, friends. You have no clue. You ready for a waterfall? I am. 
We have Kitsu and Dalton that just crash it in, and they're so happy. They're like, yay, we've made a waterfall. They're like dwarves who like missed. This is perfect. I didn't calculate properly. I'm guessing I didn't calculate on how full this is gonna get, but I hope it doesn't overflow into my other basin here. This might be bad. Hold up. Pause waterfall. Oh, we're good. We're actually good. <laughs> yes. And it looks like the polluted water is just kind of hanging there. Excellent. That's so good. Oh, that's so perfect. All right, now we have to be very, very sneaky. We have to dig in, dig in. Hmm. I have to remove. Let's let's do something a little different here. Let's make up another outhouse. It's always nice to have two outhouses. We can delete this one. Oh, you're cold. I'm sorry. I should not make you walk through that water, should I? I should be blocking this off, and then we should be digging through it. We can leave one. Oh, gross. All right. It's as long as that polluted water stays in there, we can sweep it out. And then we can dig in another ladder right down here. Sort of. Yeah, we're gonna have to make a long one. I don't like making long ladders because they drop things and then it goes all the way down. But we'll see how this works. And if they get too cold, they can get hypothermia, which is also not good for us. Can I mop up this? It's too deep to mop. You know, guys, it's easier if you dig down from the top. You don't have to be so dumb. Nice, the ladder has been created. Excellent. Now I'm gonna make another tank down here. I want the ladder to go all the way through again. Sort of, we're gonna make it a little bit different. I really need oxygen though. Uh, we can make the electrolyzer, which is good. Sublimation station? Polluted dirt and depleted oxygen. Okay, I don't care about that. Uh, I do need these, right? Oh, I forgot about these. <laughs> Yeah, right, we need these for sure. That's gonna be a big difference maker right there, <laughs> whoops. Yeah, all right, this just straight up converts LG into oxygen with nothing else. And it idles until max. Why didn't I make one of those quicker? I probably need like three of them. Um, I don't know, do I just leave it right there? There's a lot of oxygen in this area. There's not any down below. Let's put another one in at the bottom. Where are we gonna be working at mainly? Right here? Okay, we're gonna run in a power line from this side down, and in. I wanna make my friendos mop up the liquids here. Nice, the, the poop water got mopped up. Excellent, so we managed to clear out the turd water. There's still a little bit of food poisoning in here, but it's not bad at all. We can mop that. I can totally block this off now. We don't want this as a hallway. Like, it wouldn't even make sense to make it a hallway. And get out of the water tank, you dingus. Someone's gonna pee in here again, I know it. They always do. It's like, oh, fresh water, let's just urinate in there. Nice, oxygen's flowing in the bottom, oxygen's flowing in the top. We have air again, yeah. it's beautiful. All right, let us mop this up. I just wanna clear up this water. I think we probably have too much for this right now. Mm, good. Soggy feet, I don't really care, splatter sacks. You can complain to someone else. They're gonna use that water and dump it off into the research station, fill things up, good. Now we can mine this out. Beautiful. I can also mine this out. We can remove this thing by creating tiles. Let's do it down here first, just so we have a nice walkway to use. When these fellas get digging, they really can dig really well. We've cleared out most of this in a day. The base is looking so much better than it did just a couple minutes ago. And I really need to make this tank up. Actually, I should make it the same width, shouldn't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wide. Let's be honest, it doesn't have to be the same width. I just need it to be the same width right now. Okay, and we will alternate staircases in a little bit. Um, uh, yeah, they'll go out and in. We'll have this one there, and then I'll bump this one out. One, two, three, four, five. And then this will come in again, so... Okay and then we'll go down. Okay, we've successfully locked the door into the water tank. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. We're not making any more water right now. We do have this pile that we'll eventually take care of, but we really need the septic tank. And as they're digging that out, I was trying to figure out a good spot to build a latrine. I'm thinking right up here might be the best spot. So I'm gonna build up a ladder. Now, if my left-right laddering system is correct, uh, I really need that to be in that spot, actually, I think. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. That actually works. Good. So we'll build up tiles over here, and then we're going to make a poop station with showers and stuff. So our stinky isn't so stinky anymore, and he can be invited to parties. That's the entire goal of this colony, it's just to make Stinky happy. I'm kidding, of course, but we can build up a latrine and it should be good. It's called a latrine, right? Yep, toilet, wash station, no industrial stuff. Also, a washroom is a flush toilet with a plumbed wash station, no outhouses. I don't really know what the difference is between a latrine and a washroom, but I'm totally gonna make showers too. Maybe just one of them. So if I remember right, showers are like really, really nasty on creating polluted water and the benefit is very minimal. Now I think the wash station is actually under medical. Yeah, wash station. We can use a sink instead. Hello, new blueprint. I'll take some rust. We don't need another people yet. So we have the wash station in. We're gonna put in two lavatories and a singular shower. This is where things are gonna get very interesting for us. Please finish this up too though, fellas. So we're gonna take the water pipe. This is the clean water. We're gonna bring this up. Hmm. I'm gonna jump this liquid bridge. We're gonna switch it around like so. So it goes in and out. Then we're gonna take the rest of that pipe to bring it up here. Um, I'll do it right here. Okay, so this is the any. We want the good water to come in, right? up like so and in, and then we want the bad water to come out. So the bad water, should I plumb it up to the ceiling? I don't know, we'll plumb it to the ceiling. And then we'll bring it over and I'll bring it down. Okay, in we go, in we go, in we go. Do I need it that high? No, I'll just remove all that. It's a little annoying. But we do want to at least one up like such as. Okay. Now I know pipes are super ugly in this game, which is kind of weird to me. They want it hidden in the walls, but we're gonna have to do what we can do here. Bring this down, over and in. Not quite. We don't want to be pumping into the system. We want to be dropping it in using a liquid vent. Also check it out. We finally have oxygen. It's finally included. We can remove these things now because we don't really need them. If I want to use them, I should use them down here where there's actually a lot of carbon dioxide, but these things kind of are meh. Also, I've forgotten that we need water again. So I definitely need one of these. Is that reach? Yeah, that reaches. Shoot, I didn't want to put one of these in because people pee in it. This is kind of crazy. I just cracked open this area so we can dig this out and put pipes in. As soon as I did, the oxygen pressure from above started pushing down on this carbon dioxide to push it into this area. You can kind of watch it move and flow and fluctuate. That's amazing. Other good news is that our latrine actually is working as a latrine. It's got the room bonus for it. We just really need to get it cleaned up. Oh no, it's a washroom. It's not a latrine. It's a straight up washroom. <laughs> a ceiling collapsed. Oh no. Oh, they already mined it up. That's what happens when the sand falls from above. Not a huge deal. Oh, the shower just got completed. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, one more thing. One more thing. Excellent. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, a bathroom is going. We just need to prioritize literally everything down here to like a bajillion priority. If you guys can get this worked out, we don't need that as a bajillion priority, but I need everything else down here as a bajillionated priority. Quit pooping and get downstairs, you dinguses. Oh, that turd machine is out of order. It <laughs> requires emptying. Spider sacks, where are you? You're going to bed. You're not allowed to go to bed. We have toilets to clean. Ooh, and fun things to click. Choose a blueprint. More curative tablets? Do we, I kind of want another person. <gasps> Ooh, the decorating could be good. Okay, cannot do doctors, cannot, uh, eh, uh, ooh, sparkle streaker. <laughs> what? Someone I say to Hassan, he'll think about it nonstop for no less than three weeks. Wow. It's like me. Anytime anyone compliments me, it's like, oh boy. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. So, Pyro Hero, welcome to the colony. You can go to sleep now, immediately. I want you to be the decorator. Actually, you had good digging skills too, but you're also a decorator, so that makes me happy. So I was gonna research next. Uh, yeah, just give someone clean the toilet, please. Oh yeah, that's at a nine. I, I want decoration. Yeah, just regular decor, and I really want these. So 
We'll have Splatter Sack start moving up on them. Oh, someone appreciated you. <laughs> You're already like super excited. Saw a friend, appreciated. Less stress per cycle. We have a new favorite person in the group. I don't even know if they're people. They're like pieces of genetic ooze. Whatever. Oh no! <laughs> Did you see that little guy? There was a, a hatch that was buried in that corner for the rest of eternity, right in the edge of the septic tank. Okay, I'm gonna build up like three more storage bins here. Yeah, hurrah! We're gonna sweep all this goo up. I really need these done too, though. All right, we're gonna nine priority these. Everything in there and here. Okay, we're gonna just copy this. Copy settings, paste it on them. All right, so you should be able to dig up. Oh, it's a long run though, kind of annoying. Whatever. I just need these to be done. And then is power run down here too? It is not. Okay, we need power. I just wanna make sure the liquid pipes are all maintained. Yep, that's looking good. It comes in, comes up, it goes into these. Good, the sewage comes out into here and then it trickles back down into that thing. All right, let's make sure our electrical is good to go. Cause I, yep, that's one thing I was forgetting. Okay, we need electrical into there too. Uh oh, uh oh, hey now, <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want sewage dripping out yet. They're actually using it. All right, hold up here, hold up. We gotta lock that door. You're not allowed to poop in there yet. Get out of the shower, Grim. I know you haven't showered in literal years, but <laughs> we just need to lock this door super quick. Because all of that pollution is going down in here. You know what? I hate to say it. We might just need to lock this door too. Oh, and I did this totally the wrong way. Polluted water. Great. We need to have we need to have the pump one more to the left, because these people are gonna start walking in it. Yes, research is done, so that means I can build up furniture. And we can get sculpting blocks happening to make this place a little more beautiful. Unreachable build. Oh yeah, it's because I locked the door. Ha <laughs> Right, right. I locked it. Ha. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, we're gonna put these in too. Sculpting blocks there. I should put some paintings in. Uh, do we have paintings yet? No. That's fine. We don't need paintings. Alright, let's uh, remove this. Deconstruct that. I want to deconstruct this too. I don't need to deconstruct this one. I want to move this over though. Let's do it right there. That way we can drop in the sewage water on this side. How much more is down here? Mmm, that's a lot of weight. Especially if they can only pick up like 200 at a time. I really don't want to lose the resources though, so we're gonna clean it up. Also wondering, do we have the air deodorizer yet? We do not. Can I research the air deodorizer? Research time. Okay, gases. Um, uh, portable gases, no. Filtration? Sludge press, liquid filter. Hmm. Isn't there like a deodorizer that cleans up polluted? Yeah, right there, decontamination. All right, let's get filtration up and going. I really want all of this sludge water gone too. I don't know how to do it. Cause I already have that in a nine, so they should be working at it. Oh, fantastic. Toilet's full again. All right, we might have to just open this up. It might get a little bit nasty in here for a while. Oh, we only need to wash on our way out too. All right, only, only wash on the way out. Direction, how do I change that? Direction right. Uh huh. So every time you pass that, I need you to wash your hands. Can we do that? Is that gonna be okay, fellas? Okay, you did it. Yes, you wash your hands on the way out. Hey, that's good. You wouldn't be allowed to leave if you didn't. And now all of the sludge water is coming back in and is being dropped off. Good. We don't care about the germs. We'll purify the germs after you take a shower. Hopefully. We might need just a day of purification because even the ladders have food poisoning on them. I mean, it's just literal sewage everywhere. They're so nasty. Okay, so I might manually click on these to sweep them, not the sculpting block. Pluted water, sweep. Dirt, pluted water, sweep. Just need to get rid of it. This is good news too. The manual airlock door has been constructed. So I can remove this. I don't really care. That one's fine actually. Because it's just an air door, I don't think liquids can go through it. It's so close, just a little bit more dirt. Only, I mean, 2,000 kilograms of it. 
that's kind of a lot, but we should be able to remove that fairly quickly. And I believe they've cleaned up most of the water now. There they go, picking up the polluted water, bringing it across the map, dropping it off, and you didn't drop it off, you, you dropped it. You literally dropped it on the floor. You had one job, friend, and that is to dump that off. Okay, we have 470. Okay, oh, they only take 25 kilograms. Pyro, you're so uh, such a weakling, my man. Okay, I'm over here. We got that. One more. We got that one, and then we're good. Yes, yes. Oh, 15 splatter sacks. Come on, dude. All right, we good. We good. All of the trash is out of there. We just need to remove the water. All right, sweep it at a niner. Oh, there's actually a lot of polluted water. That's why it's taking forever. Oh no, <laughs> Morbus spawned too. <laughs> That's usually what happens when you have unclean toilets. All right, give me, give me the polluted water here. Uh, sweep that as a nine. We have so much polluted water. And these morbs are nasty. We're gonna delete you too. Yes, get wrecked. Get morbified. Good. He just crawls out of the stinky, nasty toilet. We're also dangerously low on food. That's not great. Uh, but we do have meal lice that they're just eating directly. I think that might be in storage, because there's a few more here on the ground that they can eat, maybe. Huh, hopefully. There's also some other things that we can harvest. But I tell you what, my friends, that's gonna do it for today's video of oxygen not included. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you'll have to let me know. Keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd also like to thank all of my channel members and patrons, including Auto Dave, Ben, Dicky J, Teddy Hippius, General Harris, Trent Dent, Kodino, Rit the Warrior, Keegan H, Zarnoff, Maxer, Ralph, BC Engineer, Sakars Morax, Spencer T, Whiskey, YH, Splatter Sacks, Doug Rules, Fred, Dalton C, Sikander D, Peyton Plays, Fussy Badge, Link Hewlett, Kyler J, Nitro, Nitrox, Wyatt K, and Rainbow Dash.